It's a pleasure having you again here my friends on Will Edu Tech. In this video we're going to be looking at solving simple linear equations. Okay. Now here in part A they have given us a linear equation, a simple equation to solve. It states negative. We have a negative sign in front of the bracket. It's multiplying 7y plus 3 and that is being subtracted by negative 6 minus 7 in brackets or in parentheses and that is equal to 1. Now let's quickly get into this. Whenever you see a negative sign in front of a bracket, um, it's as if you're changing the sign on everything inside the bracket, okay? Making it the opposite of what is inside the bracket. So just treat this negative sign as a negative 1, okay? So it would be like I'm multiplying everything inside the bracket by negative 1. Now negative 1, a negative times a positive will give me a negative so negative 1 times 7 y will give me a negative 7 y okay negative 1 multiplied by a positive 3 will give me a negative 3 okay now here it's the same thing I'm going to do I'm just going to expand and remove my brackets okay so I'm saying negative uh, treat this as negative 1 as I've said so negative 1 times a negative 6y is as if I'm making this the opposite it's negative in the bracket so when it comes out it must be positive 6y okay again I have another negative 1 there multiplying a negative 7 so that should be positive 7 okay and all of that is equal to 1 now here my friends uh, this is pretty much uh, easier to calculate let's just group our like terms okay now if you notice what I mean by like terms if you notice I have a 7y I have a term in y there and I have another term in y okay so I'm just going to put those two together so here I have a 6y and it doesn't matter the order you write them in minus 7y okay I could have written the negative 7y first I just chose to, to write them this way alright so don't worry about that now here I have a positive 7 and a negative 3 and we all know that positive 7 minus 3 is the same as negative 3 plus 7 okay and all of that is equal to 1 so what I did just it was just to rearrange these and and group in our like terms together the things that looks alike now we have an, a positive 6y minus a 7y okay now we know that if the face value of the no, the face value meaning if you look at the positive number the face value is 6 and if you look at the negative number over here the face value is 7 now the answer will take the sign of the number with the larger face value meaning the negative number it looks bigger here because it's a 7 so my answer must be negative 1y or you could simply say negative y so 6 minus 7 will give you a negative 1 and our terms they are in y okay now I have a 7 minus 3 7 minus 3 that will leave us with a 4 and all of that is equal to 1 okay now basically if you notice what we have here we have a negative y here so I can simply take my numbers to one side and leave the variable in y on the other side the left side so 4 is being added to negative y so basically what I'm going to do here is to do the opposite of addition which is to subtract so I have a negative y plus 4 and I'm going to have to subtract 4 from both sides and that is equal to 1 minus 4 okay cool now a positive 4 will cancel out with a negative 4 so this positive 4 and that negative 4 will cancel out leaving me with a negative y is equal to and 1 minus 4 that will leave us with a negative 3 okay now remember when you're in algebra when you're solving for a letter or a variable as it is popularly known uh, usually the variable must not be negative okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to establish what is the coefficient okay I'm going to ask myself that's what I mean by establish what is the coefficient of y what is the number in front of y okay um, since since it's y alone obviously it's a 1 y so it's a negative 1 y so really the coefficient of y is negative 1 so what I'm going to have to do to make my y positive I'm going to have to divide through by the coefficient which is the number in front of the letter uh, so I'm dividing through by negative 1 what I do to one side I have to do it to the other side so here for my answer I have positive y because a negative 1 divided by a negative 1 will leave me with a positive y now 
and a negative 3 divided by another negative 1 will leave me a positive 3 and that's our answer okay now uh, this is where you would stop but I'm going to do something for you now my friends now what I'm gonna do for you I'm just going to this is just a check you're not required to show this on the exam paper but just for your own confidence okay now let's go back to the original statement let's go back to the original statement and let's check our answer to see if it is true initially they gave us a negative we have the value for y the value for y is obviously 3 so what I'm gonna do I'm going to substitute that value in the original to see if I would get back 1 for my answer okay now let's try that uh, let's just shift this a bit alright here I have a negative in front of my bracket I had a 7 and we know that the value of y is 3 so we're just going to substitute that 7 was multiplying y so I'm going to say 7 times 3 and we're adding 3 to that okay and then I have close bracket and I'm subtracting from that negative 6 open bracket negative 6 and hope you're following me I'm just substituting in the original statement there okay so I have a negative 6 y so it's negative 6 times 3 okay and we're subtracting 7 from that and that must be equal close bracket and that must be equal to 1 okay so let's check if all of this is true now my friends here we have seven threes let's just bring back down our negative sign for now seven threes will give us a 21 21 plus 3 will give us 21 plus 3 that's a 24 so I have 24 inside my bracket there now here I have a negative sign in front of that bracket so I'm going to open bracket now and I have a negative 6 times 3 negative 6 6 threes will give me a negative 18 okay so that's a negative 18 minus 7 close bracket and all of that must be equal to 1 now here the negative sign in front of my bracket obviously that will give me a positive 24 because this is it's like I'm multiplying the this will give me a negative 24 rather because it's as if I'm multiplying my positive 24 by a negative 1 so I'll have a negative 24 and now inside my bracket I'm going to put back my minus sign open bracket and I have a 7 plus 18 when the signs are the same you're going to simply add and keep your sign so here now my friends I have a 7 plus 18 and that will give me a 25 okay a negative 25 all right because both numbers were negative and that is equal to 1 all right now let's take this down I have a negative 24 okay and if you notice I have a negative sign in front of this bracket so here now this obviously this negative 25 obviously will become a positive 25 okay and that must be equal to 1 and hopefully you're seeing it here because uh, if, if you switch around this by saying 25 let me just change the color just to distinguish you can say 25 the positive 25 and I'm just going to subtract the 24 from it and we all know that this would be equal to 1 so 1 25 minus 24 is equal to 1 okay so if you notice on both sides of my equation it's equal we have the same value okay so that simply means then that my answer 3 would be true so that was just a neat little way of checking yourselves okay this is just a check um, I like to show persons how to check themselves it tends to build confidence okay now let's just pull this over a bit and let's get on with some more stuff let me just let me just copy this and pull it over a bit for you so you can use this method to check yourselves when working with other problems all right let me just clear that just bear with me a bit okay my friends uh, there we have it so here's the check uh, now let's move to question B here we have 11 multiply by t minus 4 in brackets plus 4t and that is equal to 5 times 3t plus 4 in brackets minus 10 now pretty much um, the same thing we're going to use what the number inside the bracket it, sorry we're going to use a number before the bracket to multiply each term inside the bracket okay so basically what I'm gonna do I'm going to say 11 times t and then I'm going to say 11 times negative 4 okay so here I would have 11 times t that would give me a 11 t okay so let's remove I'm just simply removing the brackets okay and 11 4 is 44 but if you notice it's a negative 4 so a positive times a negative will give me a negative 44 
okay and i am adding 40 to that all right so there we have moved our removed our brackets on the left hand side let's do the same thing for the right hand side of the equation all right now here simple we are going to do the same thing again uh, 5 times 3t and then we're going to say 5 times 4 okay so we have 5 times 3t 5 threes will give us a 15t so that's a 15t and 5 times 4 now will give us a positive 20 okay 20 and we're subtracting 10 from that okay my friends so pretty much let us just simply group our like terms again and just do our, our necessary calculations all right so here i have a 11 t okay i have a 11 t there and i'm going to group it with my let me just change the color for that i'm just simply going to group it with my 4 t right there so i'm going to add 4 t to 11 t okay and then i'm taking down my minus 44 and simply this will be equal to i'm going to say 15t my 15t okay and i'm going to simply say 20 minus 10 and that will leave us with a positive 10 okay now uh let's just simplify this here i have a 11t plus 4 11 plus 4 will give us 15t so we have a 15t here okay and i am going to minus 44 from that and that must be equal to 15t plus 10 okay well my friends um just by looking at it i can pick up that there is an error in this question because of uh, the fact that i have a 15t on my left hand side a positive 15t and i have a positive 15t there so just looking at it from here i can realize that this is impossible to solve okay uh, or simply this doesn't make any sense because I, le and let me just show you just to, just to illustrate what I'm speaking about I have a positive 15 T here okay obviously I'll have to take all the T's to one side and then I'll have to take all the numbers to the other side okay so if I should take the 15 T on my right to the left hand side of my equation then I would have to subtract 15 T from both sides now what this is saying guys I'm simply saying here I would bring down the, the 15 T here on my on my left hand side so i would have 15 t and then i'm going to have to subtract because i'm removing this 15 t so i would have minus 15 t which is this 15 t i've just taken over and then i have a minus 44 okay and that would be equal to 15 t minus because remember i have to subtract it from both sides minus 15 t okay and that I am adding 10 to that all right now obviously you can see it now um, if you if you weren't seeing it before here I have a 15 T minus 15 T so all my T's are gone there so I have zero T's left minus 44 okay and this would be equal to another 15 T's being subtracted from 15 T so I have no 15 T there plus 10 okay so if you notice I have totally eliminated uh, the T's from my equation and that's not possible okay because we're trying to solve for t so obviously we have an error there was an error in this question all right so uh, just bear with me things like this do happen uh